Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. So today we're going to be looking at a very interesting rune word and this one is the rune word Eternity. Um, which I'm assuming is, uh, is supposed to be kind of like a parallel to Infinity, Infinity, Eternity. Uh, that's a joke. This particular rune word is, uh, is not insanely expensive uh, with only two high runes in it. Um, only two. Uh, it is Am Burr Ist Soul Sir. So the Burr and the uh, Sir rune are really the more expensive runes in that, and of course the Ist rune is a little expensive, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it, it depends. Um, it's make capable of being made in all melee weapons, and it also obtains the indestructible mechanic, so um, there is no reason not to make this in an ethereal item. You definitely want to make this in an ethereal item if you're going to make it in any kind of uh, weapon. Um, whatever the weapon may be uh, so if it's a uh, you know a one-hander a two-hander um or you know if it, if, it, <laughs> if if it's a, uh, a, a a an axe or a sword or whatever it happens to be there's no reason to put this in a non-ethereal item um we have some very interesting effects here so right off the bat uh, the enhanced damage is rather high uh, and it does vary a little bit so it's 260 percent to 310 percent and of course you can add the 15 percent from the superior so for a maximum of 325% enhanced, which is nice. Uh, we have plus 9 to minimum damage, which is always nice to have 9 uh, minimum damage. Minimum damage is freaking great. Uh, we have 7% lifesteal, which is always nice to have on a weapon. 20% chance of crushing blow, which is the 25% uh, damage to the monster's current HP, which does have diminishing returns. Uh, we've got the hits blinds target, which is always nice to have on a weapon because it means that the target will not be able to see us anymore. And uh, it's a little less effective on a melee weapon, but um, since this item can be made in uh, all melee weapons, you can use it in some higher ranged weapons like the Berserker's Axe, and, uh, and the range will actually have a little bit of an effect on this, so if a monster is far enough away, they won't be able to fight back. It's, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, we have slows target by 33%, which is a really awesome mechanic, and uh, in general, when it comes to uh, slows target, you want as much of that as you can possibly get uh, because it does stack up to 80% and uh, things like Clay Golem, things like Decrepify, uh, Holy Freeze, um, all of these have a, a nice slows target by effect on them which will stack and basically make the monster slow to an absolute crawl. Uh, so very nice to have that on the weapon. Uh, replenish life plus 16 which means our HP is going to regenerate. Uh, we have uh, regenerate mana 16% so we got some uh, mana regeneration in there too, not bad. Cannot be frozen, so we won't have to worry about cannot be frozen on any of the rest of our equipment, and uh, and 30% better chance of magic items, which uh, you know it's it's not important to killing things, but it's always nice to have some some MF on your items. We also have uh, level eight revive charges, which uh, is uh, is exactly as it sounds. You will be able to revive monsters. And uh, you can see here, I have 88 revive charges, and they will last for 180 seconds. Uh, so if I were to go out here and uh, find a monster, I can uh, I can revive them and have them fight for me. Now, do keep in mind that the strength of a revive is equally proportionate to um, the monster that you've revived. So if you're reviving monsters in normal difficulty, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and obviously, if you use these charges, you're not going to be able to repair them. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you're making this in an ethereal item, you can't repair the charges. So uh, so that is a downside to that. Unfortunately, um, I, don't know if, I don't know if they really thought about that when they put that indestructible mechanic on there along with the revives. Because they made it so that, uh, that unless you made this in a regular weapon, not an ethereal weapon, you wouldn't be able to repair the revive charges. So... A little sad. And uh, I'm not sure anybody is ever going to make this in a non-ethereal weapon, so... Kind of useless. Um, now, this particular weapon, uh, what uses does it have? Well, it's a very high physical damage weapon. Um, it has no increased attack speed, unfortunately, uh, which is bad. Um, it would seem like it would be decent for maybe, uh, I want to say, a, a Frenzy Barbarian. Um... Due to the crushing blow, the hit spines target, the slows target by, they cannot be frozen. I feel like you could work this into a frenzy bar. Maybe use it on his his right hand while you use like maybe a grief on your left or or a breath of the dying. Um, I just don't really see this being a better option 
than um, than some of the other weapons out there. Um, I mean, specifically to get the crushing blow, the slows target, the hits blinds target, and the cannot be frozen. I could see that. I could see using it as your second weapon, but um, I can't really see using it as your main weapon. It seems like a little, a little, uh, a little bit of an oddity in the Diablo world. I'm trying to think like, uh, like with a, with a Zealer, you definitely want a weapon that already has increased attack speed on it. Uh, with a Smiter, you definitely want an item that has increased attack speed on it. The uh, the cost of this particular recipe is very high with the Burr and the Sur and the Ist, and uh, and I, I'm not really seeing a lot of potential uses for this particular rune word. You know, the more I think about this rune word, the more I realize that um, it's five sockets instead of six, right? So Breath of the Dying is six. Breath of the Dying has a lot fewer rune word uh, bases that it can go in. Perhaps this could be an option for a, uh, a charge paladin. That's the only thing I'm thinking of. Uh, because five sockets would allow you to put it in a war pike. Um... I mean, it almost seems like an offhand buff stick. Like, if I was a barbarian, if I was a frenzy barbarian, I would put this in my right hand, I would have something better in my left hand, I would use this for the cannot be frozen, the slows target by, the hits blinds target, the crushing blow, the life steal, uh, you know, the regenerate mana, the replenish life, the, 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 just interesting. And if I wanted to actually use the revive charges, I would actually have to put this on a, um, a, a regular weapon, not an ethereal weapon, which, which, uh, which does suck. Uh, so maybe if I wanted to use this specifically for revive charges and, uh, and specifically for the um, the buffs, I'd put this in a non-ethereal weapon, which is for uh, silly. Not really sure what else to think about this. If you guys have any other suggestions for uh, for Eternity's. Um